What's up, YouTube? I know I'm almost a month late now, but I'm going to finally put together my pickup video for Black Friday 2016 and, you know, just show off a little bit of everything I got. So first, I'm going to start with my uh, movies or TV shows, whatever, only because the first thing I'm going to show you is I bought the complete second season of Gotham off Amazon for, I think it was like $14. It was actually a good price because I missed most of this season, so I figured I might as well get it and watch it on my own time. You know, um, next item is the complete Harry Potter, eight disc, eight movie, well, seven technically movie collection, um, Blu-ray. Amazon was only selling this for $34.99, I believe. Normal price was like 100 bucks. I love Harry Potter. So, I, you know, I couldn't pass this up. I haven't opened it yet, haven't gotten around to it, but it's kind of cool because if you look at it, it's like in one big Blu-ray box, which I've never seen before, but then again, it's not until recently that I started buying movies. Um, next movie is The Polar Express. Uh, the only reason I bought this is because I have very fond memories of this movie. It was like, I was like 12 when it came out. I saw it in the theaters with my mom. Great movie. Great for the holidays. Uh, and it's just such a happy, funny movie at points. Um, yeah, I'm 25 and I like the Polar Express. 24, but uh, if you don't like it, go screw yourself. You know, I mean that's what it is. On to the next one. Um, I bought these two movies just because I was always told I should watch them. So first, we're gonna start off with uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey. It uh, I don't know what to say about this movie. I was told it was gonna be really trippy, um, and it was, but. To the point where I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on in the movie. Um, I don't know if I just wasn't fully paying attention. Because that's, you know, possible. But it was just so weird. It was very artistic, don't get me wrong. But I just, I really personally couldn't get into it. But I got it for like seven bucks. And also another seven dollar movie I got. Um, because people told me to buy it. It was Clockwork Orange. Um, now when you want to talk about trippy fucking movies, this is one of them, and I actually like this movie. It was completely odd, completely out there, but you know what? This one I'm okay with. I got into this one. I don't know why I couldn't get into 2001 A Space Odyssey, but Clockwork Orange I would recommend to people if you really want something that might freak you out a little bit. Um, speaking of freaking people out... Because of the weirdness. I bought a sausage party because I never got to see it in theaters. Um, I didn't think it was that funny. As people made it come out to seem. Like, it was funny. But, I don't know. Maybe everyone just overhyped it to me and made it seem like it was the most hilarious movie. Like, there were points I laughed. But there were just other points I was just like, ah, ha, ha, yeah, on to the next part, please. It's not that funny. Um... It's like dumb comedy, but it's like dumb comedy that has no really rhyme or reason at points. Like, the movie itself has a plot, and the plot's kind of okay, but just some of the jokes I didn't find funny. Maybe it's just me. Uh, could be. You know, let me know your thoughts. Uh, and then the last movie I bought was another movie I probably should have seen years and years ago. Um, that's Pulp Fiction. I really enjoyed Pulp Fiction. It's actually kind of cool because um, for people who've never seen it, the movie kind of works in episodes in a weird way where you have something that happens here and then it flashes to the, uh, the future and then goes back to the past and back to the future, no pun intended. And it's just a lot of things in this movie that are hilarious. Um, you got Travolta in here who's, like, stoned out most of his life. And then you got Samuel L. Jackson just, you know, being Samuel L. Jackson. And then you got some some weird-ass parts in this movie. Um, like Bruce Willis being a boxer and then ending up in a, like, a electronic store, I think it is. I forgot. And everything just kind of escalates from there. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If not, uh, check the movie out. Um, next we'll go on to the games I picked up. So, first I picked up 
five current games, none of which I've opened yet. Uh, actually, four current games. The other fifth one's for a different video I'm going to be doing. None of which I've opened yet. Um, but Amazon had good deals, and I didn't really need anything newer. Uh, so first off, I picked up Batman the Telltale series, only because I'm a huge Batman fan, if any of you guys know. Um, I had to pick it up. I haven't played it yet. I wanted to wait until all episodes were out so I could just do a smooth playthrough with it. Um, and yeah, I, I've only heard nothing but good things about that game. So, I'm going to probably enjoy it. I'll probably do a review when it's over. Uh, next, I picked up Star Ocean, uh, Integrity and Faithlessness. I've never played any game of the Star Ocean series. I know they're JRPGs. Uh, I actually went to my friend for advice on this, and he um he said it's a great series, so I figured I'd give it a chance. I got it for like 25 bucks on Amazon, so I figured why not? Might as well. I love JRPGs, and this is made by Square Enix, so it's also the Day One Edition, which I don't know what that includes yet, but we'll find out. Next game. Another game everyone has told me I should play because it's apparently a really, really fun game. And that is Rocket League. And I think I bought this off Amazon probably for 20 bucks. And uh, I'm excited to see how it plays. I've never played Rocket League yet. Yeah, I am very behind on current games because I'm such a uh, five-month-ago stuck-in-the-past guy. But I know this game is basically soccer with cars. Uh, and some kind of physics, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I'll probably get to that real soon. And then the last current game I bought is the PS4 remake of Ratchet & Clank. Never played this on PS2, and if I had, it was probably only 5-10 minutes. My one friend loves the Ratchet & Clank series. GameStop had this for 10 bucks new on Black Friday, so, you know... Might as well go for it. And, uh... I heard what's cool about this game is it incorporates certain things from later games into this, like, re-imaging or remake? Ratchet & Clank is a reimagining of the original. Yeah, okay. So, you know, I'm looking forward to playing this, too, so let me know what you guys think. Now, these last two games I bought at my favorite classic game store in New Jersey, Clifton, New Jersey. It's called Digital Press. Uh, it's very well known. There are two PS1 games, and I love the PlayStation 1. I grew up with one, and I still collect for it. So, the first game I want to show you guys is a game called Fear Effect. It's uh, apparently a four disc game, but I've heard it's actually not that long. It's just that they have, like, I think it's like live moving backgrounds, which is why it takes up space during the game. I don't really know much about it. Um, I've seen it on a lot of Hidden Gems videos. And the art style looks really cool, because if you can see, it's like a shell-shaded art style. And this game came out in, what, 2000? Yep, 2000. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing it. It seems like it would be a fun game. And I know there's a sequel, which I'm probably going to pick up if I like this game. So yeah, that's Fear Effect. And the last game I picked up uh, is Chrono Cross. Never played this game. Never played Chrono Trigger, even though I'm really trying to get my hands on Chrono Trigger for a decent price for the Super Nintendo. So I probably won't play this game until I play that game, even though I don't think they coincide, I've heard. It's not like a direct sequel, but correct me if I'm wrong, because I might be. I'm human, you know. Uh, everyone always says that this is a great game, but Chrono Trigger itself is the stronger game. But I'm willing to give this a chance, just because it's a PS1 game. Like I mentioned, I love the PlayStation 1. And, uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think of those pickups. That's my pickup video for Black Friday 2016. Posted in mid-December, so sorry for the wait, guys. Uh, check out this video. Check out all my other videos. Let me know what you think I should start doing videos on. Top 10 countdown, something like that. Until then, have a good day, guys. See you, bye.